titration or acid-based titration, that's the title for the experiment. What is titration? It's a methodology. Is a methodology that is used for acid base, is used for oxidation reduction, is used for different type of uh, reactions, but the uh, experiment we are doing today is ox uh, acid base titration. You have one known and you have one unknown. Both of them, you have the name for the compounds. What, con what is considered to be your known solution is the one that you have the concentration for. So if you have the acid with the concentration, or if you have the acid that you have the mass and you have the molar mass, you can you can calculate the number of moles, then that is your known sample. If you have either acid or base that needs to be standardized or needs to be tested in order to find the concentration, that would count as your unknown. So basically, it's what you are looking for. You are looking for concentration of one of the either acid or base, but you have to have the other one already. This, uh, in this method, we are going to use a burette. With the burette that we are using, it's the most accurate or one of the most accurate measuring device for, uh, for the volume. And uh, we would sometimes use pipette. We use, uh, and depends on the procedure, whatever is going to ask. Pipette and burettes are the most accurate equipments that we could use in the in the lab. Um, for the uh, for the titration, both of them are uh, needed unless you have the uh, solid acid or solid base that is stable, like KHP that we are using today. And because it's a stable, it would be used as a primary. Uh, standard. So to start um, with the part one, uh, we are going to prepare the sodium hydroxide solution and standardize using KHP. KHP, it's not the potassium and hydrogen and phosphorus when you are trying to find the molar mass. This is not the, the uh, molecular formula for the compound. That is the abbreviation for the um, potassium hydrogen Phthalate, the molar mass is given in the lab manual as a 204.22 grams. So do not calculate the molar mass based on this three letter. This is the abbreviation for the actual name for it. It's a stable, it doesn't absorb water, um, so it, it can be used as a primary standard in the lab. So we are going to have the acid inside a um, Erlenmeyer flask. The base is going to be inside a burette. Then we also are using acid-base indicator. What is acid-base indicator? Acid-base indicator is a um, weak acid, organic, weak organic acid or weak organic base that has different color in acidic solution compared to neutral solution or compared to a basic solution. So it's going to indicate if our solution is acidic, it's going to indicate if the solution is Based. So that's what we are using for the uh, end point of the reaction. So that brings definition for end point reaction. What is end point reaction? End point reaction is uh, a point where you have added enough base uh, to neutralize the acid in a way that the indicator is going to change color. That would be end point of the reaction. So when the indicator changes color is end point of the reaction. If you count or calculate number of moles, number of moles of the acid when it equals the number of moles of base, at that point you have equivalence point. Equivalence point is very important for us because based on the equivalence point or the volume of the standard used for the um, for the uh, titration or the volume used is going to be um, uh, we start with that volume and then we have the equation for point of equivalence or equivalence point, number of moles of acid equals number of moles of base according to balanced equation. So if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, if your acid is a monoprotic and the base is a monoprotic uh, base, then you are going to have the same number of moles of acid and base at the equivalence point so you can calculate the molarity or the concentration for your acid or the base, whichever is the unknown for you.